Okay, stepping on to lock 403 at Cypress River. Now, as I walk along the edge line here, it's going to give me a little bumpy because, you know, obviously it's looking across the raw land here, but I'm trying to give you a, a feel of it. Um, if Sue and, and Kev, if you feel like you need me to come back and do something specific, I'm happy to do that. Um, but just to give you uh, a feel of what this is right off the bat. So, I should have counted how many steps, but I'm, I'm already into it. <laughs> Alright, so the long edge of the property does face Route 111. The short edge of the property faces the Bellamy Estate. So the flag to the edge of the property here, you can see it coming to the end here. Okay, so those are the flags. And this is the berm that uh, she was mentioning that that Mungo has uh, has established. So I mean, this is pretty thick here. I would say I would say it's very thick. Although I can't see a car through there if I peer hard enough. Across the way is a uh, road, and then there is. across the way there. All right, looking back. And, and unfortunately, because I'm in the sun, it is very difficult to see my, my phone screen. So I'm gonna try and keep this as steady as I possibly can. There is a drain at the end of the uh, lot here. Scan over to the left here. These are the other lots that will be available. I hope this is uh, useful for you. It is a little sometimes hard to get depth perception and um, you know, just general depth. <clears throat> So I am walking down the edge of the property line, which is what I believe to be the edge of the property line. So it's kind of thin, I would say, on the front, because it is definitely a pie-shaped. So what's that, about 60 feet across the front, and then whatever it is on the back side. There is a, a sewer drain here the street and then looking back again all right i hope that feels uh like it was worthwhile so just let me know and we'll talk all right see you guys